Good day guys, welcome to another video with teacher Satya. In this video, you guys will be learning about how to use the Pythagorean theorem in a circle. Now make sure you watch the entire video to our better understanding of this topic. Now let's get to it guys. Alright guys, so we know that the tangent radius property states that a tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius of that circle. Now what this means that the triangle created will be a right angle triangle, hence we can use the Pythagoras theorem. Alright guys, now let's take this understanding and solve few questions. Now again, in this question, what we see is that we see that BM is the tangent and BO is the radius. Therefore, this angle right here will be a right angle. All right, guys. Now, Pythagoras theorem states that A square plus B square will be equal to C square, right, guys, where C is the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse will always be the opposite to the right angle. So in this case, opposite to the right angle will be side OM. All right, guys. Now let's take this understanding and solve this question right here. So we have A is R square plus 8 square is equal to 10 square, right, guys? Again, r square plus 8 square is 64, which is equal to 10 square is 100. Now, we are going to find for r, so we are going to transpose 64. So, r square is equal to 100 minus 64. r square is equal to 36, right, guys? And r is equal to square root of 36. Therefore, our r will be 6 centimeter. So this R right here will be 6 centimeter. All right, guys. Now let's take the same understanding and solve question number two. Again, first of all, let's find which one will be our right angle. So we know that ST is the tangent and SO is the radius, right, guys? So this angle right here will be our right angle. Now we are doing this so we can find the hypotenuse easily. So our hypotenuse in this case will be opposite to the right angle, which is OT or 16 centimeter. All right, guys, now let's go ahead and find the value of R here. So we know that R square plus 12 square is equal to 16 square, right guys? So R square plus 144 is equal to 256 right guys 16 times 16 is 256 so r square is 256 minus 144 r square is if my calculations are correct should give us 2 1 and 1 so r is equal to square root of 112 centimeter now i'm not going to use a calculator so you can leave it as a square rule or in some question they'll tell you to convert the square root into a decimal answer all right guys now let's go ahead and solve the final question now in this one again we are going to find a right angle first so we can find our hypotenuse all right guys so we see that mp is our tangent and mo is the radius so this angle right here will be our right angle therefore the side opposite to the right angle again will be our hypotenuse which is x all right guys so this is pretty easy we have 15 square plus 15 square is equal to x square correct guys so 15 square is 225 plus 225 is equal to x square 450 is equal to x square and square root of 450 will be equal to x all right guys again in this one i'm going to leave it as a square root and of course do not forget the unit so x is equal to square root of 450 centimeter all right guys and that is how we would use the pythagoras theorem in a circle now if you did enjoy this video do not forget to hit on that like button and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future maths videos until next time guys have a nice day